Good day grade 12s. Welcome to your first lesson in grade 12 mathematics. We are starting with something simple. We're starting with number patterns and we're going to just be revising your arithmetic sequences. So let's get started with that. First of all, the definition says a sequence of numbers in which there is a common difference between any two consecutive terms is called an arithmetic sequence. In other words, if we've got a sequence of numbers where they go up with a constant amount every time, then that is an arithmetic sequence. The formula for the general term is a is equal to, sorry, tn is equal to a plus n minus 1d, where your tn is your value of your nth term, a is the first term, n is the number of terms, and d is the common difference. Now, grade 12, seriously, we've been doing this for three years now. You guys need to understand and know this formula. Let's do a little bit of practice, shall we? It says, determine the common difference and the general term for the following, 10, 7, 4, 1. So first of all, remember, the, how do we get the common difference? The common difference is equal to T3 minus T2, which should equal T2 minus T1. So let's look at this. This is going to be T1, T2, T3, and T4. So if we do T3, T3 is 4 minus t2 which is 7 which is equal to negative 3 great t2 t2 is 7 minus t1 which is 10 which equals negative 3 excellent so we have a common difference so let's now write out our variables we've got tn a n and d our first term is 10 our common difference is minus 3 and the formula says tn is equal to a plus n minus 1d. They just want the general formula for the general term. So it's going to be the first term which is 10 plus n minus 1 times by negative 3 which becomes 10, and we multiply this out, becomes a minus 3n minus times a minus is a plus, plus 3 which equals 13 minus 3n. Nice and easy. Hey, let's do another example. It says, determine the thirteenth term of the arithmetic sequence if the first term, the first term is two, the second term is six, and the third term, T3, is ten. And they want us to find a T13. That's what they want. Now remember the Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 D. Just to confirm with you guys, you get given this formula on the formula sheet, so you don't have to learn it, but you do need to recognize it and be able to use it. Okay, so now, first of all, we need to find our common difference. We need to find our common difference. So how do we do that? We know that the common difference is equal to T2 minus T1, which in this case is going to be 6 minus 2, which equals 4. And our A is our first term. Therefore, our Tn is equal to our first term, which is 2, plus n minus 1 times the common difference of 4. But now they've asked us for T13. So we want T13. So wherever we see n, we're putting n 13 is equal to 2 plus 13 minus 1 times our 4 which is 2 plus 12 times by 4. I know I'm doing this very slowly. You could have done this straight away on your calculators or just in your heads. 12 times 4 is 48 plus 2 is 50. Therefore, the 13th term of the sequence happens to be 50. Another example. It says determine the arithmetic sequence of the third term. T3 is 10. And the 15th term, the 15th term, T15 is equal to 46. Sure, so that's a little bit tricky. So let's think about this. We know that Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 D. So what can I write here? I can write that this, let me write it over here, T3 is 10. So I know that when n is when n equals 3 we have 10 is equal to a plus 
3 minus 1 times by d. Therefore, I've got 10 is equal to a plus 2d, right? Okay, now let's see what happens when n equals 15. When n equals 15, I have 46 is equal to a plus 46 minus 1 times by d. Therefore, I've got 46, sorry, that's wrong, that's not 46, it's 15. Let me just erase it. Fifteen minus one d, which is equal to a plus fourteen d. So do you see that I now have two equations with two variables? So what are we going to have to do? We're going to have to simultaneously equate. And there are two ways you can do this. The way that I prefer is just substitution, but you can do it either way. So let's look at the first way, which would be, let's say we solve this equation for a. So do you agree then 10 minus 2d would equal a? And then what I could do is substitute that into that a equation. So I'd get 46 is equal to if I see a, I'm now going to write 10 minus 2d plus 14d. So that becomes 46 is equal to 10 minus 12d. So when we take this, this becomes 36 is equal to minus 12d, sorry, plus 12d. So therefore, d is going to be 3. Awesome, so now I have the common difference and now I can substitute this d back into either this one or this one. This one looks easier, so I'm going to substitute the d back into that one and I'm going to go 10 minus 2 times by 3 is equal to a. Therefore, we've got 10 minus 6 equals a and therefore a equals 4. Awesome. And now we know that tn is equal to a plus n minus 1d, and they've said determine the arithmetic sequence. So we've actually worked out our first term is 4, our second term is going to be 7, our third term is 10, and let's find the tn. Your tn is going to be 4 plus n minus 1 times by 3, which is going to be 4 plus 3n minus 3 which is going to be 1 plus 3n. And there we go. We have determined the arithmetic sequence if the third term is 10 and the 15th term is 46. So grade 12s, you need to be able to do these type of questions. And all that they're using is the fact that the common difference is the difference between two consecutive terms and the fact that you can use your general formula for your general term, which is tn is equal to a plus n minus 1d, you'll find different terms. Please go practice these examples, make sure you understand, and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a great day.